Hi there, welcome to Above VTT Bite Size. This is looking at our settings for tokens. So I will show you DM view and player view. Settings, first of all, are over on your right hand side. Now we will be looking at this area here. Um, our unfortunate player is Amira Rockswift. And we'll work through each of these. So, first of all, Amira has got to face a Demogorgon. As a DM, all I've simply done is click here. When I go to player, I see it. And you can see that they're all, they don't see hit points, etc. Now, when I move to the tokens and press hide, you can see that down here the three icons have changed. Now, when I next press an icon, I place it, it looks a bit more translucent. I move to Amira, she has no idea it's there. I come back. The square token, this represents this, it's straightforward. Square Demogorgon. Amira, not so cool. If I decide to spook her, I will no longer hide it. And Amira sees one behind her. Back to here. If I now look a token in position, this will be, you can see that as a player, you can move it as a DM, I can move it. However, when I add a new token, I cannot move it. For Amira, it doesn't even register as a token. The way for me to remove this is to come back here and you notice that a lot of these options that are on the right hand side are also right click options in the token. I can now do this. The one on the right hand side will operate as universal and uh, obviously the individual token ones will work for the individual token. Now, I can move it. Back to here, restrict player movement. I've shown you already that a player can move a token. However, when I put in this after this has been selected, I can go with Demogorgon and I can move it. However, Mira, Connect. Next, I will disable hit points. Now, this time, when I do a monster, and you can see this here, I then Demogorgon, and as DM, I cannot see the hit points. Next. If I want to hide a, for new players, this is, if I do normal players, let's have a little look at this. We've got Frith. When I bring Frith in as a DM, I can see his hit points. As a player, I can also see hit points. However, if I now set the toggle for hide AP from players, and add in Frith. Although as DM I can see them, the player cannot, and some groups prefer to play it that way. Coming back to here. Showing hit points and hover. Now here you will see um, when I add in disappear, they appear. As far as the mirror is concerned, it doesn't matter. But for the DM, it's gone. You might find this is a better way for you to set up your board. Come back here. Now, when I disable the board that watch down here, you'll see it's gone. So when I apply the Demogorgon, it no longer has the pretty border. If I disable the health meter, you can see that I have just the border remaining. So I add in one of those. The health meter is gone, which is that green one. And as a player, I'm just seeing these funky colors. Coming back to here. 
this then enables the token bar. You can see what all happens then is I add in. And you can see this bar down here. As a player, I will just see the bar. And all of these areas can be combined into various offerings. Now here, it says hide aura when token in fog. Now I'll show you what that means. If I do um, a little square piece of fog over here, when I add in a token, I could add in demigod over here. If I enable the aura, you can see that there's a setting here as well. Now, if I say, right, I'm going to do this, I'm just going to do some lamp. You can see that there is indeed, there is an aura that available. And as a player, I can see this aura and it can give it away. However, if I then set that aura to not show, as a player, I can no longer see this. So you can use it for multiple things, like potentially setting out zones for traps and spell effects, etc. But that's how that operates. When we come here, okay, show names to players. Now, as a standard monster, you don't get to see what's going on. However, if I then add in another monster right behind there, what happens to a mirror now is I can't see it, now I can see it. Just to add that little bit of extra fear, you might want to use it for NPCs um, in any kind of scene that you're offering. Back to here. This next one, I'm not going to show you an example because it really is shown here. Sometimes you might have an, uh, an image and you want to ignore the aspect ratio and you can see the effect of what you've got there. But I have not done. And there are all the options within this panel that you can use for tokens. Thank you.